pleasure to meet you and talk about this film that kept me on my toes for the whole mm. journey. So how was it for you? You play quite a delicious baddie, let's say. Yeah, it was It was really a good experience c to be a um, badass villain in a movie because mm. it's always good to be bad than being good because you're good, normally it's good in life. And yeah, it was really good to work with Dwayne because he creates a really um, easygoing, welcoming atmosphere on set. So it was a really a good experience for me. How much did you contribute to how she looked? Obviously, it's not your haircut. Yeah. Uh, she looks a bit different from yeah, you yeah. in real life. Um, actually, I cut my hair that I had for ten, more than 10 years. Oh, my really? long hair, I cut it for the movie because I just really wanted to live in her character. And I give her a little mold that I don't have for the character too. I thought it would be a very memorable stuff like for her mm. character. Yeah. We, we don't get to learn too much about her. So in your mind, did you have a whole backstory that you constructed so that you're able to live in her? Yeah, um, actually, I put myself in a hired hitman, a hit woman mm -hmm. in the movie to stop Dwayne saving her fam like saving his family and making life as hard as I could. And um, actually, I have a boss, Bota, in the movie, yeah. and I'm, tr I'm working for him. And yeah, and I think I speak Cantonese because I think I'm hired in Hong Kong by him. Yeah, that's what I give Sha a back story. Yeah. Uh, how much training are we talking about? Uh, you have to train a lot because she's quite you know, yes. busy with the guns. Actually, I just, I did the casting three days after C-section of my baby. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> And afterwards, I had a break for a month to yeah. rec recover. And afterwards, I started training since on to the movie, like to shoot the movie. So it's around two and a half months. Yeah. yeah, it takes more. It's, it takes longer to yes. recover from a C-section. I know yeah. my experience. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about um, The Rock. Is he as famous in the whole of Asia as he is for us in the whole of the Middle East and the rest of the world? He is. He's actually really inspired. He inspired my um, my trainer mm. and my because my trainer. He's really big and he was inspired when Dwayne was doing. Um, he's um, what do you call that? The f what do you call that? Um, the work that he done before on the um, ah the wrestling the wrestling yeah. yeah and then he was really inspired he was a big fan of that and then mm. I think it's a lot of Asians that was inspired by his past and then wanted to have muscles and looking as cool as him. Uh, did he get involved in your training? How much was he involved in what you were doing? Obviously, he's a producer on the film. Yeah, um, actually, I only shared a scene with him, and that's well, I seen him three times, I think, mm -hmm. on set, yeah. And on the training, he just let it go to the trainers for, to train me and because there was a car fight. And because it's a girl fight, so I mm. guess girls teaching girls is much better for you know a girl fight. Yeah, and that's my next question with Nev Campbell. I mean, how much did you get to train together for this fight? How choreographed was it? That was quite inspired yeah, by wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, we, c we worked a lot before we met each other mm. because we want to make sure that we don't hurt each other in the beginning and so we had a like well what how many days was that i think two weeks training before we met each other and then we started to um, really fight in the car before we did our scene and it was really good it was really like you really feel the tense when you're in the car like you mm. feel like it's a small area and you know punching and making sure that you don't hurt each other i think it was a really great and nave was really someone nice to work with yeah yeah she's so nice uh, it's obvious to know what the boys would like about this film it's a total action-packed thriller yeah. uh, but i think the girls will enjoy it too what do you think and what do you think they will enjoy most um I'm really thankful for Rosson to write two very strong women characters in the mm -hmm. movie. And then not only girls are going to be a victim, but also um, a weapon in the movie, I would say, because we can fight for ourselves. So I think it's really something that girls will enjoy too, because girls fight. And then we're not just only a victim, like we do stand up for ourselves. So I think girls will enjoy the movie too. How much do you enjoy tall buildings? I mean, it's one of the themes in the film, obviously yeah. not the most important one, but uh, in Asia, like in the Middle East, they love those very, very yes. tall, tall buildings. I think it's really nice to look at, but when I get on them, it's like, oh, my gut is really itchy. Yeah. I don't look down because I get really, you know, my legs get really like, Whoa, like, yeah, I don't like heights, but really good to watch the movie because you don't really have to experience the heights, but once you can feel the um, hype tall buildings are always very gorgeous and good to see 